I'll need some time to collect that I think so. Eivor, chill belt. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Anir is the Briton's best warrior. If he dies a brutal death, Rodri will think twice about fighting back. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Ah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. I want to go in quietly. No point bringing every armed Briton down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Chill, Bat. Listen to this old man's stories and wipe his drool for him. I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Letterchester. We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. But do not take long. My blood. behind and draw runes.
Yeah, I didn't get serious, sir.
the last of them. Let us get a good view of our handiwork, Jailbert. Join us, Eivor! Look here! Look upon this masterpiece! Eivor! Did you see Chilbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Chilbert, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The Song of Swords, the Blood Mist, the Bone Crunch and Baring of Teeth! Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We've spilled enough to slake the thirst of Femini. Why stop there? Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing! I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or... fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. The water's boiling with them. Hooked! Bring it to shore! An eel! Oh, hooked! Bring it to shore! Eel. Almost enough for a hearty soup. Oh, hooked! Bring it to shore! For now, Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah. A strange way to celebrate victory. 
But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chaelbert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chaelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. We set the village ablaze, yes. But peace is not guaranteed. And it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, wolf kissed. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are gladdened to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. Rodri is king of the Britons. All promises of peace must come from his mouth. In all things, the king and I act as one. As lady of the Britons, I have full voice to speak for my husband and our people. Then we accept, honored lady, your full authority. Perhaps then, at long last, we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. 
You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chailbout must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. I'm looking for Chailbert. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Have you seen Chailbert? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Arderling. Ask another! Anyway. <laughs> Ivar, it is done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chelbert? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Chelbert? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Chailbert? Chail... Bert? Did none of you see Chailbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. Does he often get this soaked? By all the gods, he does. Twice a week. Once for three days, another for four. Then twice on Sundays. And when you need him to sober up, what do you do? Keep this to yourself, but once or twice when I needed a quick word, I dumped him in a lake. It's worth a try. Must be some way I can wake this drunk. Snap? That's a low thing to do to a man. Hm. I am looking for Chailbert. The soft Saxon boy? The next elderman, yes. Said he was going hunting to bring back a feast for Ivar and the rest. I know he went hunting, but where? Round the mouth of a cave nearby. Follow the stream up the mountain, south of here. That's enough to go on. Thank you. See, Sunan. Good. 
not. Jailbirds. Or an animal he found. Jailbird's bow. Dropped. Jailbirds. Tears of Rhea. Uh, uh, Jailbirds, you live. Uh, I... Uh, Stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Guards. The Briton crest. Keep breathing, boy. You haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. I can get you to the others. I'll go easy. Save your strength. Faster this way. Just breathe, Jailbird. We'll soon be there. Hand of Thor! Is... 
Eivor, what happened? No. No! You foolish boy, what did you do? I found him deep in a cave, beset by wolves. Eivor. Easy, boy. Easy. E... Eivor. Get me an axe, right fucking now! Eivor. He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. Your war is back on. What? He was killed with this. A Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolav, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. We must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolfkist. You spared that wet turd Leofrith. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaobert! Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Send the boy's body to his father. We'll want the Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rotary is holed up in Kausto Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rotary to me. Is that the answer? Or if he'll go back to praying and whipping himself. <laughs> what? He's trying to trample me! <laughs> you men! Mount up and follow me! There's work to be done! Coming. I should have known he would come for the weakest of us. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rodri's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. In Quadford, you told me Rodri gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? It's not no. worth telling, it is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western <laughs> They've got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beating. Put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So, me and my Drangir, sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore. And just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are. All lined up. The biggest one calls out. I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my boys a nod. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers. But the Britons? Clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one. Rodri cuts us to bits. He gets to me, lays his blade at my cheek, and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Hen shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. 
son of Ragnar, killer of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived the saga worth ten. That I have. That sweat-socked slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. Ivar's men waste no time. They are eager to pay out our revenge. There's my liberator. I'll do you proud, I will. I've been waiting to get back at these Britons ever since you broke me from that cage, Dane. The time is nigh. Eivor, I'm ready to get back at them Britons. You'll not see me lagging behind doing, doing nothing but looting corpses. Not this time. I am ready. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Eivor. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. Ragnarsson, how is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Crow Food, and meet the dragon that will devour you. I see a spent old man. Playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires! When I am done with Rotary, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread. It's up in front of the gate. Get the wagon to the gate. They've been so forced to stop our cart. I
The boneless. <laughs> you make a pitiful dragon. The rotting old oak. He's not dead. No. I have something else planned. Spectacle, remember? He's nothing now but a sad sack of flesh. Kill him and be done with it. Oh no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind a place and a method. Come. Not just now. So be it. Ah. Must be blocked from the other side.
Thor lends me strength. Let us take King Rodri to a spot he will find breathtaking. All right, let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Eivor, do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rodri. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die with honor. No, no, no. He must die with style. Dear King, stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. <sighs> I feel stronger already. I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, and now King Rodri. Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just finish. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri! Are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak. But as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. Your king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. Bring him close. Eivor! I am usually the one who wanders off! Hold him up there, to the top! And keep him breathing! Finish this quickly, Ivar. See here? A hungry blade. Now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal. The blood eagle. Ivar, is this... The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First! I slice the length of your spine. That is a Norseman. The true essence of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. 
The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. The fog between good and evil grows thick over time. But glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs! And we spread them like wings! All of mercy, I can see him now. I have seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Eivor. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. Then... nothing. You sick, cursed fuck out! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny and become king killer forevermore traitor jailbird was like a son to me yes yes so fight me wolf kiss to a glorious death this is a life able to fight high above the world valhalla awaits Sense of menace. When I stabbed Guriad, you winced. You cower in the face of sudden drama. Watch out! Eivor, let me ask you something. Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkist? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? Go again! Watch out! Valkyrie's approach. 
My axe. Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Odin may have use for you, but this is more than you deserve. Ah. Do not shame him. I hear... I hear their wings. Carry the body to Quadford. We will say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Uber. Tell him his brother is dead. Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace... I killed him. You? After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rotary. ...to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... ...this is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died a fighter... ...in all his glory. As he wanted, then. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship... ...for his funeral pyre. Bishop... ...send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery... ...and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Chaelwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this Shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead.
brother. May your time in Valhalla be bright and glorious. Raw bringer of battle song. The boneless one sails into a singing glory on the flaming water steeds. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shirapshire an ally. I should confer with Randry.